Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be talking about X-Ping, what it did today, how I said it was pretty much going to be a red day. I mentioned that in my other video yesterday if you want to check that out. Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you that I do have a free Discord server. Link in the description below. Completely free if you need help. We're active during all hours of market. Market open, after market, all of that. So hop in here if you need help with your trading, investing, whatever it may be related to the stock market. Let's get right into the video and let's talk about what Xping did today. So Xping, what did it do yesterday that was so crazy? It pushed up over nine dollars yesterday and we found out the reason or one of the reasons why it did that was because of the line of credit that it got. It got two billion dollars worth of credit. It was loaned that. So that money is gonna be used to help out things, you know, with operational costs, you know, improving technology, expanding it to more markets, just everyday expenses that a business has that they're trying to look to expand. Now, let's talk about what XPIN did from a technical standpoint today, and let's talk about why I think it probably is going to be bullish tomorrow. So today, what happened? Well, we opened up right around the 5378 mark, so we opened up red. Now, we did try to push up earlier this morning. We tried to push up to 5479, but what happened, guys? We were met with a bunch of sellers. They just pushed price down. We fell below support. So I said, if we get below support right here and hold above it, then we're most likely coming back down to $48. Now, luckily, it was able to stay above 5128. It fell below, but then the next candle, the afternoon, it came right back up, and then we closed the day above it. So as long as we stay above this 5128 area, guys, I think we will be final XPing, and that's why I think we're bullish tomorrow. Now, I said in my XPing video yesterday that this was an amazing dip buying opportunity. So if you were able to either add on to your position right here, or if you were able to, you know, get in here, congratulations, this was a good place to get into it, as you can see why, because it held this area right here. Now, if you want to take this trade, if you took this trade and you're trading it and you're not investing it, keyword there, you're trading it, then have your stop loss right underneath this wick. I'd stop out at fifty dollars, fifty fourteen, and then I'd get back in at forty eight oh six. Now I know a lot of you are investing in this, and I know a lot of y'all get upset with me when I talk about you know trading it and cutting my losses and all this and that because a lot of you investors so you don't really care about the dips but there's a lot of people still out there that like to trade it so if you're taking this trade right here this is how I'd have my stop loss and let's run through some scenarios that could happen tomorrow like we did yesterday so today it held above support right at 5128 that was a crucial level that we needed to get above and we stayed above that and we closed above it so tomorrow obviously what's going to happen for us to stay bullish well, the first thing we need to focus on is staying above this area. Now, once we get above this area, the only other resistance we really have, our strong resistance, is at 5667. That's the next area of resistance that we have that's going to be giving us some trouble. Now, you can argue, though, intraday, something you need to look out for, is this area right here. Notice that we got rejected twice. Yesterday, we got rejected, and today, we got rejected here. So, yes, you can argue that this is a smaller resistance that we need to get above so if you want to argue that then we can get if we get above 5473 then that's going to be good for us so 5473 is a minor resistance that we need to get above in order to head to 5667 now once we get up to 56 5667 there's a couple things that we can do so the thing i'm going to be looking for us to do is this we get up on it and then we consolidate and push through so that's the main thing I want to see when we get up to that resistance. Or obviously, the second and most likable one is we just push right through it and we don't even consolidate. Either one works, but the consolidation one is a lot better to happen because it's just it gives the stock time to breathe. It gives the stock time to pause before it continues. So ideally, you want to see the continuation, but we can get this move right here like we did here. Notice how we just passed through this resistance. We didn't even consolidate because we had that huge catalyst. So that can happen tomorrow. Now, ideally, though, unless we have another catalyst, then it's probably going to do some consolidation, and then we get above it. But the important thing is that we get above it and hold above 5667. Now, that may not happen tomorrow. It may happen Friday. So maybe Friday we get the run up, consolidate a little bit. Or sorry, Thursday we get the run up and consolidate a little bit. And then Friday we push up. Maybe that's the scenario that plays out. Now, let's talk about the bearish case scenario because we have to talk about both sides when we're breaking down a stock. You have taken both sides of it. So let's say tomorrow's red. Well, where am I looking at 
add-on where am i looking to get in if you haven't gotten in yet so if we're ready tomorrow ideally the best entry is right here at 48 dollars so we got above resistance now we're just testing it from the underside we got a little carry weight away right here now we're just testing it from the top side that's the best case scenario if you want that good pullback now i'm not saying tomorrow we'll fall back to that level no i'm not saying that at all i'm saying tomorrow that if we do get that pullback then the best case scenario is right here at $48 and it holds at $48. Now, the important part is that it holds at $48. So if we pull back tomorrow and we get to $48, we need to hold that level. Now, if we don't hold that level, then we're probably coming back down to this level right here. That's a possibility if we don't hold $48, but I'm not even certain that we'll even get to $48 tomorrow, right? Just because this was a strong level, we returned back up to it. So I think that's the reason why I'm bullish on XP tomorrow because we were able to hold above this level we got underneath it but buyers came right back up and got us above this level and that's why i'm bullish tomorrow on xping let me know your thoughts in the comments below how many shares are you holding what's your average and let me know your game plan for xping are you trading it or are you investing it for years to come or are you looking just to swing it either way guys thank you for watching this video appreciate all the support go ahead and hit the like button and thank you for being here anyways i will see you all in the next video